Shut up and sit down. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some Resident Evil Zero. Mike coming at you with some games from the attic. I know it's been a long time since I've played. It's been forever. I have no fucking idea where I am. This is not where I thought I was going to start up, but then I kind of remembered this is one of the only save points, if not the only one that I've seen in the mansion so far. There may have been another one. There, I think there was, but I like this spot a lot better. But anyways, before this video starts, there's a couple things I want to talk about. I am sorry for the absence and the lack of content. It's just there's been a lot of misfortunes. My PlayStation 4 controller, uh, the R2 button quit working. So I was trying to figure out what to do with that. And I ended up just buying another controller because the R2 button is kind of important. I tried taking it apart, but I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I upgraded my PlayStation 4 from a 500 gigabyte to a 1 terabyte hard drive, which is cool because now I got a lot more room. I can play a lot more games and not have to worry about deleting shit that I need or want to keep. So that just leaves me with a lot more room to play around with. And then I'm not going to be able to play PlayStation 3 games for a little bit. I'm not sure how long. It shouldn't be too long, but I'm going to be playing a lot more Resident Evil in the meantime, which I feel like is okay. I really want to get back to the other games, but I've kind of took on more than I can handle, I guess. I can handle it. It's just playing three games at once, it seems like it's taken forever. And it kind of is. I thought I would be done with Parasite Eve by now. This game seems like it's going by pretty quick, so hopefully we can get through it pretty swiftly, pretty briskly. But I'm not sure. But sometimes, you know, it's nice to just go recharge the batteries because... Ultimately, I want to make sure I'm making the best content for you guys, and if I'm weary or for whatever reason something's wrong, I feel like my content becomes rushed, or if I'm busy it becomes rushed, and the content just suffers from it. So it's nice to recharge the batteries, and I'm real excited to get back. You have no idea. I've been dying to record. I'm finally at a good spot where I can do that, so I'm ready to get back into it. And I'm going to jump right in. And I remember I have to go back to that room with all the podiums, I'm pretty sure. But my situation's looking pretty shitty right now, I'm not going to lie. Kind of went through my inventory to see what I got. Billy's doing okay on weapons, but his health is suffering. While Rebecca is pretty much... Let's split up. No, okay. wrong button. It's this too, been Roger. too long. Okay, switch. I'm going to be sticking with Rebecca... Just for the fact that she seems to have more life, but her weapons are lacking a bit. Oh, excuse me. That's exactly what I was afraid of. I just ate an excessive, an abundant, and unholy amount of food. I wouldn't say unholy, but it was pretty bad. And what am I doing? Yeah, exchanging. I'm going to give her a little bit more. What? What? Exchange. She needs ammo. Okay. Uh, I'll give her a little bit more than him since he's got the shotgun only holds two bullets which still makes me angry no stop but uh yeah my burping is might be a pro it might be a problem in this video i'm not gonna lie because as i said abundant amount of food but you know some people are into that so that's cool everybody's into their own thing uh, i'm sure there's a name for it i just don't know what it is there's always a name there's a name for every fetish out there uh, i'm more of a spank me daddy type you know not not my literal daddy, but uh, uh, my spank daddy is somebody that their name rhymes with Bash the Flare Glue. Yeah, Bash the Flare Glue. Y'all know who I'm talking about, don't you? That wasn't a very good... It's Bash the Bear Jew. He's my spank daddy. I'm going on record and saying... That I have no idea why I'm just roaming around. I'm kind of trying to remember where that podium room is. I think it's up here. But Vash the Bear Jew is my spank daddy. 100% confirmed. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm, I'm completely not joking, by the way. No, I am joking. Or am I? You'll never know. Okay. So I'm supposed to be doing something in this room. Enough, uh, enough spank talk. This is not the episode for spank talk. Smack talk, yes. Fuck these zombies, man. I'll show them who's daddy. Who's daddy? Who's their daddy? Is there a painting on the wall? The painting depicts a group of people eating in a dining room. They're all glaring at each other. Well, that's creepy. Okay, so I... Oh, stop it. Okay. I keep... It's been too long. 
help me. Anyways, I have found a file that showed me something. Maybe files two microfilm image. That's what it was. Okay. An image resulting from overlaying microfilms A and B numbers. Okay. Oh, that's right. I don't. I I I can crack the code. Like that's the decipher. That's how you decipher it. Is with that picture. But I don't know what the code is per se. Can I press buttons here? Okay. See, it won't even let me press. <gasps> Wait a minute. What about up here at the podium? Is there something that I can put this mo disk in? That I got. Yes, there is. Is there? Security system is locked. Please insert system disk. Okay, I have that. I stop it. Or does he have it? Oh, he has it anyways. Okay. What? This way. Roger. Why are we split up? I I gotta get used to these controls again. Okay, get Rebecca, stop it. All right. So let's put in this mo disk, and maybe it'll tell us what we're looking for. Oh. Oh, uh, I think I'm so used to the the first Resident Evil that the controls were different that I keep trying to use them, but I don't know. Really need to find some help for Billy. And I really hope this just tells me what it's looking for. Please don't be cryptic. Please input code 2... Oh! It wants 2D. So, I'm going to go press 2D. Interesting. Okay, so now we kind of have a direction... Let's take a look. Yay, I'm pressing the right buttons. Let's take a look at not the options. I, th I totally meant to do that. Let's take a look back at the microfilm image. So it wants 2D. So I'm going to hit this one right on my right. And then in the back on the left. Okay. Gotcha. This is easy. At least I have a direction. At least I know what I'm doing. Okay. Two. And oh wait, there's a pay piece of paper there, and I think whatever I just pressed and clicked, you might nope stop. You, you okay? I think I know what I'm doing. Regulations for trainees, training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corps. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility with with. Will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future. Global leaders of Umbrella Corporation, we look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Don't poop in the urinal. I think that's just a universal thing. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times and keep your hands and feet in the vehicle at all times or well, unless you want to receive decapitation. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. I kind of read that in like, a, like if you were going to like a, a, a crew video for like McDonald's or something like hello valued employee something like that I don't know but I'll go check over there yeah I want him to wait there because I think it's time based I think so let's press this one and then switch real quick and he presses this one that's that that's it boom wait that's not all I needed to do is it Oh shit, are you serious? That's it? Oh, that's the one where I bought that, uh, centipede? I'm not sure where that is, actually. Okay. That's it? Huh. I, I, I guess I just expected more. There's the other save point, by the way. And I feel like there might be another one other than that, so maybe there's more than I thought. Come on, Come on okay. Billy, stop. Stop straggling behind. But... Okay, then. I figured, like, I would have to do it a few times or something. That seems kind of easy. I don't know. It just seems like a simple puzzle. I thought it was going to be more complicated than that. I hear zombos. Shit. Good thing he's walking into the corner. Shit, shit, shit! Oh, Billy. We actually did something good for once. Okay, please. Please go down. I can't remember. Am I playing on the normal difficulty? I feel like I am, but I'm probably not, and I just suck. Okay, I'm going to check out this hallway real quick. 
I, I really desperately need some herbs. Wait, I, I don't know. The big double door seems more intimidating than this. There are those, there's those burps I warned you about. Okay, I don't hear anything in here, so that's cool. Oh my god! What the f- There was, there was no noise. I guarantee it, I heard zero movement. Oh shit, okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, could I blow that up? I, I probably could have blown that up, couldn't I? There was no noise in here. That's absolutely ridiculous. But that, that, that first aid spray will definitely work. I should have just used it, but whatever. Billy, heal yourself up. Boom. Combine with that. Combine. So, Rebecca's going to... Stop. I know what a gun looks like. So, Rebecca's going to go back to being the kind of mule... Well, Billy's going to be my workhorse because he can take more damage. I'd like him to run into battle because I know he can take it. You'll need a container to carry it. Okay, so I didn't need to blow that up. And the blue herb is for poison. I don't really need to take that partially because I don't have any green herbs to mix it with. I feel like this should be a save room. Wait, what? It's an old dusty suit of armor. You can't even see your own... It's a mirror. What? It's an old dusty suit of armor. You can even see your... Okay. What? Well, I thought it was a mirror. I don't know. Maybe the her background just looks weird. I don't know. I will, I will say I'm glad I don't have to worry about them getting back up as crimson heads. That's, that's always cool. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, I can't hear anything in this room either, but that never stopped zombies from appearing around the corner. Okay, cool. It's a, whoa, it's a giant chessboard. And those are grenade rounds. I left the gren... I, I feel like I meant to say this, but I left the grenade round... I don't think I did. I left the grenade launcher down there because, for one, I didn't have any grenades, and another, it took up too much space. I think I'm going to leave these here, actually, just because it's not too far from the save point. And if I need them, I know right where they are. I mean, I could take them with me. It just depends what I find in here, honestly. What is this? It's a chessboard. The game appears to have ended in a checkmate. Okay. Can I, can I push those? I can't. Ah, gotcha. So I need to make it look like this chessboard. So... I don't know chess. I guess I don't need to. So those two white pieces need to be up in the right corner. I guess. Let's do that. There's a black piece over in... Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. So there's three white pieces. Let's start with those. Where do they need to be? Okay, so... The tower in the upper right, and then next to that, the bishop, I think. M Rebecca, please move. Rebecca, please, no, stop. Okay, I'll go this way. Okay, uh, so just push the bishop down. But I want to move these out of the way real quick. Oh, oh, shit, never mind. That was a horrible idea. Okay, um, what? <laughs> okay, I guess that one was supposed to be... I didn't expect that. Is Rebecca out of there? Did she come with me? Okay. Oh, oh, are Let's we fucking... Up. Are Roger. we fucking poisoned? No, come on. We're fucking poisoned. Are you shitting me? Okay. What? Wow. What? Uh, I completely... Uh, please tell me. I, I think I'm... Billy, what are you... Oh, yeah. I think I might be able to use these without a green herb, maybe? The rules seem like they change. I didn't mean to fucking do this. I did this so weird and stupid. I didn't mean to. Yeah, that was my bad. I had no idea that was going to happen. Let's see if this is even going to work. Uh, okay, it does. But it put me in the caution? Are you serious? Billy, you freaking get the... Get the blue herb, dude, before you... It's right there. Billy, 
pick it up before you kill yourself. I keep meaning to hit use, and I'm not. He's fine. Oh okay. yeah. Well, fuck. This way. Okay. Stop. Okay, I need to stop. For, for some reason, I keep thinking the touchpad would be the menu. But I, how was how was I to know? How was I to know that was gonna happen? There was no warning whatsoever. Okay, that's a dastardly puzzle. Cause stuff like that, it's usually pretty forgiving. It's like, oh, you're you can move it. It's just if you don't get it right, you can't go on. No, it's like if you move the wrong piece here, you're fucked. So I gotta do it in the perfect movement, basically. So that black piece is not going anywhere, and that tower is not going anywhere. So that bishop needs to get down there. Is that the only piece I... That's the only piece I have to move, actually. Okay. Okay, I didn't get any gas on that. Is that okay? Am I allowed to do that? Is it... Can I push it this way? Okay, so far so good. Rebecca, please move before you get... Rebecca! Stop! Stop it. Okay. This should be good. Okay, boom. What the hell is that? Is that a book? Is that the Necronomicon? It says evil on it. And there's dead everywhere. So is it a book about the evil dead? I hear crows, too, which I don't like. There seem to be a lot more mix of monsters in this one. Okay. I just want to check. Please, crows. Wait, there's something more here. What? Orcas Diary 1. December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can continue my research into progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all the virus secrets. All of this virus s secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer. He came to complain to me again. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks of Progenitor as nothing more than a money-spinning tool, fool. <laughs> it's a money-spinning tool, fool. He's got rhyme skills. This is truly a rhyming book. It's just you gotta fix... I don't know. It's all jumbled up. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop Progenitor, I must strengthen my own position, too. September 19th. At last. I've discovered a way to build the vi a new virus type with progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for tyrant. Why? Why would you call it like the L virus for leech virus? October 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress. Experimenting on mere rodents. Oh, return of the burps. Oh, my, my bad guy. Sorry. I'm such a slob. Sorry. Only humans can be a proper... That was a good segue, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. Oh, jeez, this is long. November, November 15th. one five th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments. But perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they might find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. Okay, this, will, this is spanned a year, I think. January 13th. At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting the sense of joy and satisfaction. Okay. Now, finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea. And the leeches. Fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today, again, I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If 
that is what they are after they're after I must find a suitable way to deal with them perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests those two are the only ones I trust apart from my beloved leeches this dude's having a love affair with his leeches I swear this is when people get too close to their pets but Spencer it wouldn't end there would it I will announce tea at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Exit? Really? Are you sure you don't want to skip ahead a few decades? Maybe a millennia or two? Cool. Okay, what is this book? Because none of this is helping my plight. Um, examine? Can I open you up? Please tell me there's something in here. What the, what the fuck is that? Is that a bat? A, a, a what? I'm trying to think if I need this for anything because I, honestly, I don't remember. That does not look familiar in any way, shape, or form. It looks like... No shit, it's one of a pair. What the fuck? What is all of this stuff? I can't piece any of this shit together. I still got that key, so I can go use that, but... I don't know. I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button. My bad, guys. Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm so glad to be back recording for you guys. I thank you guys so much for your patience, and I hope you guys continue to watch the channel and be with us as we expand and grow and do all kinds of more crazy shit and fun stuff. It's going to be a hell of a ride, and I hope you guys uh, decide to join us. It's going to be real fun. If you did like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Thank you.